Welcome back to the Morning Blend. I love this. Viewer Katie's, well, we should ask Gilbert Brown about his tattoos. Next time. He's got a great grave digger tattoo. We'll talk about some other time. But viewer Katie Swanson actually posted this great picture on Facebook of her two dogs, Duke and Bowser. I love that. Duke and Bowser. And look at her tattoo in honor of them. That is so cool. People love have that. some really neat tattoos. And people get them for all sorts of reasons. Today we're putting the spotlight, though, on people who get tattoos of their pets. Mm -hmm. And we know we have a lot of animal lovers who watch the morning blend so this Saturday we have the perfect place for you to show them off it's called tattoos to the rescue and Jessica burnt from Milwaukee pets alive and Ken font owner of Saints and sinners tattoo company are here to tell us a little bit more about how you can honor your pet for a very good cause in that tattoo right guys that's right did you get a ch chance to check out Gilbert's tattoos while he was here no I didn't because I was wondering your your opinion of it and he's got a pretty cool grave digger tattoo <laughs> going yeah, on I, I kind of glanced at him but I didn't really get a really good Do you good find yourself them. critiquing people's tattoos when you're out and about? I used to. I try not to anymore. Mm -hmm. um, it's more just about giving people what they want more so than critiquing their tattoos. Sure, I get that. Yeah. Um, Saints and Sinners has been around on the east side for a long time. Um, almost four years now. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing about doing tattoo art? Um, really, it's just dealing with the people, um, seeing how happy people are once they get the tattoos that they've been wanting and you know kind of putting their own spin on it that kind of thing mm -hmm. um, just really dealing with the people more how than often, anything speaking of dealing with people and having people come in and visit you how often do people request a tattoo that's either the, a picture of their dog or their cat or some other pet um, their bearded dragon mm -hmm. um, perhaps um, or their pets names how often do you see that um, pretty often it seems like in the tattoo industry things tend to come in waves so you know we might not see anything for a few months and then all of a sudden we have four or five people coming in with all the same type of ideas um, so it's kind of weird how it happens like that but uh, it's we definitely see them mm -hmm. yeah how important is it for you with Saints and Sinners to, to partner up with a group like Milwaukee Pets Alive to help out in the community different causes like this um, I think it's more important for them than us mm -hmm. um, you know we Everybody at, at our tattoo shop is, we're all really big dog enthusiasts and animal enthusiasts. So, you know, if we can help out, you know, by, by doing something for them and really driving some money to, to help the foundation and help keep these dogs around and, and get them good homes where they're, they're wanted and they're going to be happy, then that's the important thing. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be this fundraiser. Describe the kind of body art to the people who attend the event. What, what can they get um, and how exactly does it help pets if people get tattoos? Um, well, basically, we're doing two by two tattoos um, and the price is around $50. Um, we ask that they're animal related to keep um, the animal enthusiasts involved with it, you know, trying to, again, the, the main focus is to really drive some funds for the foundation and the animals. Um, all the money's donated. We're donating our time, our supplies, everything. We're not taking a single dime. Um, so we're just trying to, you know, do tattoos that are going to be quick and easy. Well, I shouldn't say easy, but, you know, quick and drive a lot of a lot of money to really help out these dogs and the foundation for sure. Mm -hmm. And Jessica, that's a huge thing to have 100% of the proceeds donated to Milwaukee Pets Alive. Um, just talk a little bit about how excited you are about that and who you brought today <laughs> as well, because that's Mobley, right? This is Mobley, yes. So, Mobley! Um, he's our, ch our charmer. He's kind of relaxing. And ch he's been schmoozing all your, your folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's Beautiful. a charmer. He's a total charmer. So, yes, um, Mobley is four years old, and he's up for adoption, so I'll tell you about him in a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But it's so important for us to partner with local organizations. We're 100% local rescue. All, all of our animals come from Animal Control, MADAC, here in the community. Um, many of them either picked up stray or surrendered by their families. And so it's really important to us that we handle um, the animal needs here in our community. We know that the homes are out there, um, but we d desperately rely on partnerships with businesses to help us. You know, the, the money that's brought in um, is going to help us with vet bills, with training, with um, other efforts like public awareness type events that'll help us get more animals into good homes. Well, that's the thing about this fundraiser. We talk about fundraisers on this show every mm -hmm. day. But this one is so unique to me because mm -hmm. we have a lot of pet lovers who watch the Morning Blend <laughs> and people are really attached to their pets. And I think it's super fun to have kind of a lifelong reminder of this, this animal that becomes part of your family, part of your heart, and, and to have that t tattoo permanently, you know, <laughs> on your body. Wow. 
I think it's a really cool idea for a fundraiser. <laughs> I'm really excited. I've been waiting to get my first tattoo for some time, and I've just never really been solid. I was going to ask be, you. <laughs> this will be my first. I'm actually going to get um, my oldest dog, our very first rescue that we adopted. I'm going to get her paw print. So You're going to get Aww. a paw print. And, it, and that's the thing. It doesn't have to be a picture of the pet. It could be a paw print like you're doing the name of the pet. Mm -hmm. Anything related to it, right? Just anything animal related in general. You mm -hmm. know, really, like again, you know, it's just about getting supporters out there to really mm -hmm. bring the money for these guys. You know, pets are, you know, there's, in today's age, you can't, they can't really, um, fend for themselves, you know, mm -hmm. so that's yeah. our jobs is to really take care of them, you know, and, and that's why we're doing it. Mm -hmm. It's super neat. Important cause, and we know Mobley's available for adoption, four yeah. years old, nice mix. He's a charmer. Everybody's loving him up in the studio. Mm -hmm. And here's how you can take part in Tattoos to the Rescue. It's going on Saturday from 10 to 6. Saints and Sinners Tattoo Company will be doing two-by-two two tattoos, anything animal-related, for 50 bucks. It's located right on East Bra or on Brady Street there in Milwaukee. And here's how you can find more about Mobley and all the pets available through Milwaukee Pets Alive. It's milwaukeepetsalive.org. You can find them on Facebook and Twitter as well. And Mobley is our dog here today available yes. for adoption. Thanks Mo for being here, you guys. You Thank, Thank you, you so much. Mobley will make somebody a great pet. He's great with other dogs, and we think he'd do well with children. So yeah. first-time dog owners, please come apply. We'd love to see you. He'd be a great dog for any family. So yeah, He's good. a lover. Thanks, right. you guys.